In this video, we'll talk about how to get around in one of Hewitt's classes. Um, I'll tell you a couple things. And the rest of it, I think you'll kind of figure out as the semester goes along. If you need more in-depth videos, I can give them, but I think they bore people to tears if I tell you everything. But um, one thing you need to know is that I deliver news through the news feed on the home page of the course that you're in. Now remember, if you watched the other picture, the other video about um, getting around course den, not around Hewitt's classes, but around course den, I talked about that news feed that's on the front page. That's a different news feed, the one out on your home page. That one's a university level news feed, but inside of uh, my class, um, you're going to have a class specific news feed where I give you lots of great updates. If you go up into your profile to notifications, you can have text messages sent when I've sent out announcements, and that might be a good way to kind of stay connected between those regular logins that you that you do. Okay. Um, also, there's a calendar, of course, and I'll I'll be populating the calendar for this semester shortly. Now. There's all these different things, and I, I know you know what email is. The locker is like a file file storage area where you can upload files. Um, but, and you've got discussions, you've got a Dropbox, and you've got quizzes. And these are the three main ways that assignments are turned in. But technically, you don't really have to go into these three areas <clears throat> necessarily. You really want to have a good handle on this right here, content, because this content in this class almost as a another word for context. It gives you the context for the quizzes, Dropbox, and discussion things that you're doing. If you were to go directly to your Dropbox assignment, assignment might be a project you're working on, without going through the content module first, you might not understand that assignment, why, what the whole point of it is. But content seeks to give you a little more of um, a context for why we're doing what we're doing. So technically, you don't ever have to click this or this or this, although sometimes it's easy once you know, once you have your bearings in the course, it's easier to go directly to the discussions. Like if you know you need to go make a follow up post to something, you go straight to that. You go straight to, you click discussions and you'd go find your discussion board and you'd, you'd hop into it and, and get it done. But um, content is what we're going to look at now and we'll talk about. <clears throat> But still, uh, before we go into this in more depth, I want to mention one other thing that one tool that helps you because there's a lot of details in here. It's easy to get lost. It's easy to be like, I just want to know what is the basic thing I need to do. Well, there's this document that I create for, for our class called the course plan, and I'm going directly to it. But it's also linked inside of the class. And I want to. I want you to make sure you watch the video on the why the course plan is so important, how to use it. But but always keep in mind that you've got that course plan that tells you, okay, in this first in session one, these are the items that I have to do for points. I need to do my session one discussion. I need to do the teacher welcome video plan assignment. I need to um, take a quiz on the Intask and Cape standards. And that, by the way, is really easy. It's not. It's it's more of a freebie for you guys. Just a way to get you aware of those. Um, in session two, which takes place over this two-week period, I have to do these four items and these are the points that it's worth. So this is a great tool for just kind of showing you big picture what it is that we have to do. Then you've got this rich content area that gives you even more sort of goo, sort of instructional goo, if you will, more context for what's going on. And it's going to take us all a little bit of time to get used to it. I don't expect you to have it licked. I just learned how to, I keep learning new things about this area. So you have to kind of click around and play. I don't think you're going to make any anything explode by clicking around. If you click Table of Contents, it will show you all of the session modules for the semester. In this course, we've got session one, two, all the way down to seven. There's seven sessions. These are two weeks each in the design of this particular class. Over on the right, we see the same thing, we see session one, but then we see its parts are here. And in each of these parts, there's more items, okay? So you have to remember to, to just worry about the session you're in, okay? If, if the whole class is open to you, which in some cases, sometimes I will open up modules early, you need to ignore the future sessions till you're ready to get to them. All right, so let's look at the, let's just look at one session now though. Okay, a session is a two-week period usually. 
and you can always double check with that course plan like session one goes from January 6th to January 19th in this example and that's a two-week period um, so now now I've clicked on that session excuse that phone and within that we've got these subsections introduction syllabus orientation related tasks teacher welcome video hello standards and voices from the field okay and so to learn what those are you, you keep drilling down but I recommend that you go in order that you do all the items in the introduction section first followed by syllabus section next followed by orientation section next follow you know and so on so I'm gonna click on introduction we've got three items in it in this example your course will probably be different from what I'm showing you this is a previous course so you just start from the beginning click on welcome to the orientation session alright right here a video is supposed to show um, this is from a previous uh, the video showed last semester when this class was being delivered it no longer shows because we're in the new D2L and there's a new technical issue that I would fix if this were a real class but let's just say in your situation the video is not showing you can always look down here and you see that I've actually provided a link to it um, all right so to navigate through this 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 remember we're in the introduction session we we going from the table of contents we can look at this bre breadcrumb trail right up here always be aware of your breadcrumb trail we're in the session one we're in the section called introduction and we're on the item called welcome to the orientation session which is always a welcome video that kind of walks you through what you're going to do now you can watch this and then you can click this next button here to go to the next item so see we've moved to the uh, we're still in the table content, still in session one, still in the introduction. Now we're on the session checklist. Okay? And so that's how you navigate is the right right button there. But if you feel if you want to try a different way to navigate, you can always you could you could click this side panel. That would take you up a level. You can probably click that to go back to that front page of the table of contents. Yep, back to that front page. You just need to kind of click around and play with this guys. Um, but let me go back in and show you another way I could have gotten there. Let's say I was back in inside of the module. I'm inside of it. I'm immersed in it. I'm going through materials. You could also go back to the table contents here using the breadcrumbs. So I'll just click that. And that takes you back out to the top level. Okay. So it's going to again. It's going to take a little getting used to. Let's look at session three. Okay. I clicked it. It opens and expands. Um, we've got an, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven main areas. Let's look at this how to podcast area section. Okay, within that how to podcast section, we've got four items. Um, you would go through these in order. I usually start with instructions, so let's click on that and just take a look. Okay, if you're feeling lost, you're like, oh my gosh, where am I? You can always look at your table of contents. You, you know, you're in the table of contents. You're in session three. You're in the how to podcast section, and you're on the instructions BYOT podcast. You can click the side panel for a quick glance at what else is in the how to podcast um, subsection, or you can just kind of go with it and click the right button and navigate your way, you know, you know, right and left through it like that. Okay. Um. Talking about the course plan again, I can see how it can be confusing. I, I'm actually I'm feeling a little bit of that sort of noise you feel when you're in a new learning environment because this is new to me when I'm making this video right now. I can see how you might have some noise like, okay, I think it's great that you have all this the, the, this content in here, Miss Hewitt, that you know is supposed to teach us things that we need to learn, kind of thing. But I need I still want help focusing on what it is that I have to do what are, what are the what are my priorities and if, if you you know most of you're gonna to want to know what are my priorities go back to that course plan and look at these these are sort of your goals these assignments that bear points these are sort of the the goals that those content that content module that we were in is supposed to get you towards and so don't go off too far off track make sure you're saying to yourself okay I'm going to work through this module for a few hours, but then by the end of this session, you know, by the end of my working tonight, I need to go check out this first assignment and just see what it is that I'm supposed to do. Um, just make sure that you kind of keep keep focused on those those items that you need to do. There's a lot more fluff in here than it seems. Um, 
I, I have a lot of stuff in here, but um, I think you'll find that it's pretty easy to get through. So I think I've sort of addressed what it is that you need to know about the, the basics of navigating my class. Again, if you want to go directly to something like the discussion boards, you can hit the discussions and you can go check out the list. Um, drop boxes, these are all closed because this was a previous semester, but this will show you all the drop boxes and you can actually access them through here. And the instructions for each of them are actually inside of the drop boxes. And quizzes are here. Um, there's current quizzes and there's past quizzes in, in a, of course, in this previous course, previous semester course, they're all in the past pretty much. So that that's sort of in a nutshell how you, you navigate the class. It's mainly through content, but once you kind of get your bearings, you can go directly to discussion, Dropbox, and quizzes, and you should always have the course plan by your side. I'll end on that note then, the course plan. Where the heck is it? Well, if you go into content, I try to put it into every module inside of the introduction section. I believe in the first session, I don't do it in the introduction because it's too early to show it to you in that section. So in the, in, in the session one, you'll probably find it in the syllabus area. And there's the course plan right there. I'm going to click it. And um, one thing you can do if you don't want to see it in the frame of D2L is you can click this view content in new window and it should undock it. I'm see, I see we're having some trouble, and um, the trouble uh, relates to this shield up here. If you ever open content and it's blank, one thing you need to check is, is there a shield anywhere? In Mozilla Firefox, the shield is usually on the left. In Chrome, it's on the right, and they behave slightly differently, but it's the same basic idea. You're trying to allow content. So I'm clicking that shield, and I'm loading the unsafe script. And there's the course plan. If you want to bookmark that in your um, you know, favorites, if people still do that, you can actually get the direct link. Because this right here is not the direct link. Westcott.view, that's not the direct link to my course plan. This right here on the top of the page is. If you click that, uh, if you right click it and you copy it, that's actually the, uh, the direct link. I'll show you what that looks like. Well, never mind. That didn't work. All right, so uh, content and course plan hand in hand along with the checklists inside of each content module, each session module should kind of show you what it is that you need to do to stay on track. Alright you guys, you need to get in there and play around. Thanks.